drought, hunger, disease. Most people are in danger here. What we're seeing is lack of the most basic commodity called water. No water, no food. They're losing kids, they're losing animals. Close to a million people right here in Trukana are facing starvation. This is a very serious crisis. When Maisha talked to us about feeding program in our school, I was very happy and glad. Right now, the classrooms are not having enough students because most of them have gone to look for food. Food keeps children in school because a, a hungry child will not listen. But if a child at least has something to eat and is strong, he can listen to the teacher, he can understand what you are teaching. When there is food in school, these children will be in school. No water, no food, true starvation. And the world is removed from these villages in remote areas. We believe that as much as they are forgotten, Maisha has found them and they are not forgotten anymore. I inform the teachers, I inform the children that Maisha is bringing food to our children. Yes. These children, some of them, that is the only meal they will eat within a day or even two or three days. The feeding program will really be helpful. So many of these children will be encouraged to come to school because besides the food that they'll be eating, they'll also be obtaining education at the end of the day. Maisha. Many of you have supported Maisha for years and I want to say thank you. Thank you for your continuous support. Thank you for being part of Maisha's story. Perhaps you also feel in your heart that you want to be a part of Maisha project. We are looking for people to make a commitment for $19 a month to help us get this school funded and this school feeding program launched off the ground. So for just $19 a month, you can help us create a better life in this school. Your gift is going to provide a life-changing support for these children and may God bless you. Mm. <laughs>